Tell Me I'm Here is a book that was written by Anne Deverson and it was published in 1991. The book's been turned into a play by Veronica Nadine Gleason with a special new adaptation for Belvoir. It's a new work and yet it feels like the book has been around for a while and the story is set in the 70s. So it's easy to forget that it's actually a new piece, but it is a new piece of work. We play mother and son in this. Uh, I play Jonathan and this is Anne Deverson. <laughs> um, and it, this play, this story is really a story about um, Anne witnessing her son have his first brush with psychosis and how that starts them on this sort of roller coaster that is very much out of control. Anne Deverson is remembered for, for many things, but in terms of um, the context of our show, I think SANE, the organisation she set up to build awareness of people living with schizophrenia, it's, it's, um, it's a lifelong legacy. I felt like it was a very sad story. Unfortunately, not a story that's un, you know unheard of, but to have it sort of diarised in the way Anne did, um, she really gruellingly kind of catalogued the events and it's quite marvellous how she did it because you can see the torment she's living in but she has this capacity to to journalise the events in a way that is really useful to people to understand the system that she was up against. It is a story about mental illness, it's a story about a family in crisis but also underneath that it's a story about love and a mother's love for her son and a son's love for his mother and how that drives them through this incredible, dark, harrowing period of their lives. It's, it's such a very sad story, and it's a story full of such um, rigour and determination to make something better, uh, that you really just are you know, behind these characters the whole time, willing them forward, willing them on. Schizophrenia continues to be a much stigmatised, marginalised and misunderstood illness and I think hopefully if we do our jobs right with this show what we'll be doing is putting that on stage in front of people in a way that is in all of its complexity. It's a real journey of traversing the human condition I think, uh, not just about schizophrenia but all grief that all humans feel and how we as humans come up against that grief time and time again in our lives.